And here's my new vaporizer, the Riser Q. And I'm just playing with it. Thought I'd make a videotape. Show my friends. This is a, a nice vaporizer. We sell them at a demo co. Um, I bought this one for myself and kind of as a demo type thing. You can see I just turned it on with the remote. I don't know if you can how well you can see uh, if you can see it all those uh, the digital read out there. I don't know. You might be able to see it. But anyway, I, I have it set on 230 degrees. Right now it's up to 195 already. I'm going to put the bag on. Take a bag hit. Fill up a bag, whatever you call it. So I'm just showing this to a friend of mine. I've been talking, real excited about getting this. Since it looks like it's heated up now. So what I'll do is, uh, oh, it looks like I have the fan off so I'll let it warm up a little bit I'm going to put the you know pack a bowl in the, in the whip um, for the bag that'll be this one you can see there's the end of it that'll go right on the top whoops not right there actually not yet anyway first this goes on there like that. Then the whip goes on there. Like that. You can see this bag's attached to that whip. I don't know if you can really see that. Let me see if I can put something under there. There we go. So that's what's going to happen, but not yet. Not until I fill up uh, this with some of my favorite herb. I'm gonna do right now. Have some low rider number two all ground up. Ready to go. Okay, so there's that with the herb in there. That's some low rider number two, like I said. So uh, I'm going to let that warm up for a minute. I'll put this on there. And then I'll start the fan and, uh, after it warms up a little bit. I'm still experimenting, figuring out how to use this. So, uh, so I, I did one bag, and it was... Uh, tasted great. It wasn't really thick vapor and I heard you can. I did that elbow pack. Um, in fact, the elbow is still packed, I believe. Uh, um, and so uh, I was told that gave you a bigger, uh, more uh, thick vapor, but I don't think I did it right. I don't think I had the temperature high enough. Now I'm doing the temperature a little higher this time. And plus I have it both in the elbow and in the regular place where you're supposed to put it. Let's see what happens. I'll go ahead and turn the fan on with the remote. That's a low speed fan right there. Let's see if it looks like vapors go on there. Low speed. You can tell it's vapor. I can't tell how thick yet though. Tell the fans really quiet. It's called Extreme Q. Uh, Q stands for quiet. The Riser Extreme Q 4.0. This one, I'm a little disappointed. This doesn't have a stainless steel body like I had read that they have. Maybe they don't make them that way anymore. Or, uh, 
um, but I also got a really good price on it. So, uh, in fact, the price is identical. I'll be, uh, well, I'll be setting them to the new price shortly after this video, and uh, should be real competitive with it anywhere else you can find them um, after the 10% discount. So, if you want one of these, go to dentalco.com, please. I'd be happy to send you one. What I'm told is uh, in the vape bars and uh, um, where they've had volcanoes, typically they people are walking by the volcanoes to get to these arisers because they're that much better. I've seen a lot of people put this in the you know in the top three quality wise along with volcano and uh, um, one other one. Um, and then some people you know they they don't think it's the greatest in the world. <clears throat> I think it's depends on. Uh, what you're getting used to and how much you want to spend too. This was uh, you know, less than 200 bucks, so you know it's a uh, hard. You know, I've I've other vaporizers that aren't as good as this. They didn't cost as much as this either, but they're not that far off. And uh, and this is way better. It fills up balloons, or you can do whips. It's all glass on glass. I could have the whip hooked up to a, a water pipe or uh, some other type of bubbler if I wanted to. It, uh, um, it's pretty cool, I think. So this is on the low speed. You can see how slow that bag fills up. It takes several minutes, but this is on the low fan speed. So I want as thick a vapor as I can get. I'll turn it up a little bit for the, um, the rest of it and see. You can see, uh, we'll see how much faster it fills up on high speed. I've only done one bag before and man it tasted just delicious. Couldn't believe it. I vaped before but I never uh, had anything that tasted that good. I can tell I'll be using this a lot. That bag's almost full now. Let it get all the way full. I don't know how well you can see that in the camera. My video camera battery is dead, so I'm using my camera. Camera. Okay, I'm turn the fan off, and then I'm gonna vape this while I go watch the plants grow. Thanks for watching.